Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to Make Monday. Today I'd like to discuss weld shape. What I want to do is make a couple of beads on this piece of metal. Uh, and one I'm going to go too fast, one I'm going to go too slow, and one I'll go to what I consider to be just right. And then we can take a look at the di difference in the pro bead profiles and you can make a decision of what you think is th the thing you should like to accomplish. Or you can use it as a comparative to make sure your welds are the way they ought to be. All right? So let's make some welds and we'll take a look and see what we can do here. All right, well there I was traveling kind of fast. It's a mistake a lot of people make. The result is you get a, if you can kind of see the profile there, it's a pretty lumpy, uh, tall but thin bead. Okay. Typically what's gonna happen there, you're going so fast that you're really not gonna get good penetration either. So besides having a bead that doesn't look so good, it's also not gonna necessarily perform very well either. So now let's do another one and we'll go, and this time I'll go a little slower, or maybe too slow and we'll see what happens when you do that. Okay, I was traveling pretty slow there. So you can see I got a pretty, pretty, a lot of weld metal lumped up there, which is actually pretty wasteful because that that's doesn't do, it contribute any strength to the weld whatsoever. Uh, but, it, and, and depending on the thickness of the material, if I'm going that slow, I might get too much heat in the material and, and have too much penetration, maybe even burn through. So what I wanna do now is just kinda do a happy medium between those two. Not too fast, not too slow. Okay, here we go. One more time. All right, now we have a bead where, in my estimation, was just about the right speed. You can see we don't have as much humped up weld metal here, but yet we're not as thin and ropey like we are over here. We've got good wash in, uh, and I think, and you know, a kind of a side effect of going too slow, uh, that extra weld metal, that's, that's money out of your pocket because you're using up weld metal that doesn't need to be part of the weld. So this is kind of what you're shooting for uh, in, t in terms of a weld. Not too fast, not too slow, kind of like, uh, the Goldilocks and Three Bears just right. All right, well, hopefully that'll help you out. And uh, any questions, why well, you certainly can address them to the forum or on YouTube, and we'll try and deal with those in the future. So for today, that's it. Have a good one. See you next time on Big Monday. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every MIG Monday.